Hi, it's Ryan. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, people know me as Biblio Virgo, and I talk about books. So today, I'm going to be talking about my 2021 most anticipated reads, or my 2021 hopefuls. These are books that have been on my radar and that I've wanted to read for quite a bit now, but I just haven't had the chance to. Um, after curating a list and making notes about the books, I realized that a lot of these books are fantasy and a lot of them are a part of a series. And that's just how it worked out. And it kind of makes sense to me because fantasy was the least read genre of my year in 2020. And so let's get into it. So one of the first books that I would really like to get to in 2021 is Finale by Stephanie Garber. Um, so Caraval and Legendary have been out for a bit now, and this is the third book of the series. I know this was a very hit or miss series for people, but for me, I absolutely loved it. I was blown away by Caraval and Legendary. I loved the characters. I loved the magic. The plot was just incredibly entertaining for me. So um, yeah, I haven't read Finale yet, though. I typically avoid reading last books of a series as long as I can because I hate finishing a series. I just absolutely hate it. So the good thing about this series though is that it continues to follow the same characters throughout the book. I know there are some series out there that exist that um, the main characters may not necessarily be the main characters like in the following books. So this, uh, so Finale still follows sisters Tessa and oh my goodness, Brain Fart Tella, why Tessa? Tella and Scarlet, um, and it still has main themes of magic, deceit, love, and drama. So I do have high expectations for this book. I am looking forward to see how Tella and Scarlet's lives have progressed since Legendary. I don't want to talk about too much about the plot because I don't want to have spoilers in this because uh, it is a part of a pretty big fantasy series that I know people will probably want to read. Um, but yeah, I do have really high expectations for this book because I loved Caraval and Legendary so much. So it's also probably another reason why I've been avoiding reading it because I don't want to be let down. Uh, the next book that I am hoping to read in 2021 is Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. So this is part of a fantasy duology. I read the first book, Strange the Dreamer, in 2018, and that was my very first Lainey Taylor read, and I was blown away. <laughs> Lainey's writing is so lilting. It, like, takes you on a dance. It actually makes you feel like you're a bird flying through the air. I'm not even kidding. That's just, there's no other words. And the character she creates, it feels like you're sitting like with them right there in the plot and like you're creating magic with them. It's just so ethereal. Anyway, so, Muse of Nightmares. <laughs> um, so yes, I feel like I've also probably been putting this book off because I loved Strange the Dreamer so much and I just have high expectations for it. And again, I don't wanna be let down by it. Um, but this book does contain a lot of mythology and paranormal elements, and it still follows main characters Laszlo and Sarai. And Laszlo has to make a decision between if he wants to save humanity or the person he loves. So that's going to be really interesting. It seems like it's still going to be filled with suspense, drama, action, and romance. <laughs> Apollo is meowing at me. He's my kitty. Well, one of four kitties. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> He's like, Mom, why are you filming a video? Why aren't you petting me? The next book that I would like to read in 2021 is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I love you. <laughs> is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. <laughs> I'm dying. Um, So I'm I was looking forward to this series and I've, you know, heard so much hype about it. So... This series, well, the first book came out in 2018. Uh, the Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing are both out as well. So if you want to continue with the series, you can read those as well. I feel like I avoided this book, though, because there was so much hype. Typic no. No. <laughs> no, honey. No. Sorry. <laughs> um, typically for me, 
I let hype simmer down for like two to three years before I fully invest in a book, especially when it's a part of a series because I don't want to be let down just because there's so much hype surrounding it. Um, so yeah, this book is full of magic and it has Fey in it. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I know that Holly Black, well, I've heard that Holly Black does a really good job with writing Fey characters and she does a really good job with writing magical plots. So I am greatly looking forward to it. Apollo just has so much input. <laughs> okay, so the next book that I feel like everyone should probably put on their TBRs as well, especially if you like romance, is The Light We Lost by Jill Santapolo. Jill Santapolo is one of my favorite romance authors, and I feel like she's very underrated. So the first book I read by Jill was in 2018. It's called More Than Words. And I wasn't really anticipating to read this book. I had just stumbled upon it at the library and I was like, sure, this sounds good. But I was blown away, like pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by this author and her phenomenal writing abilities. Um, and that's really what's hit home for me. Her writing is absolutely beautiful. So I'm very, very excited for this book. And it's been on my radar for quite some time now. Um, so this is a contemporary um, romance, so typically it does have a lot of drama elements in it as well. And it follows MCs Lacey and Gabe, Lucy and Gabe, sorry, not Lacey, Lucy, Lucy and Gabe. So they meet at a college and something happens in their lives that changes them quite drastically. And then they meet one year later and then they're separated again. So this plot is kind of keeping the reader intrigued by keeping them wondering if the two main characters are really going to end up together again. Will fate keep them together or will they end up apart? And I feel like this is one of the most um, entertaining aspects about this book. I really like books that have that wonderment element, like, okay, what's going to happen in the end? Like, how is this going to end? And I feel like books like this um, are usually quicker and faster reads. <clears throat> Okay, so this book is a 2021 release. It is acclaimed to be one of the most anticipated fantasy books of 2021. It was <laughs> sent to me by Sourcefire Reads. It does not have a cover yet. It is The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. Truly, just from reading the synopsis, it gives me the beautiful creatures vibes and also like the mortal instruments vibes. Um, so in short, just to kind of amp you up a little bit more, um, it contains elemental magic and romance. And like typically when it comes to a fantasy, romance and elemental magic are my absolute favorite things. It's also a shorter book. So I feel like this is going to be like one of my most favorite fantasy books because typically the shorter ones have a quicker plot. They are filled with more action. And I'm really excited to see the romance in it too. So I feel like you should definitely add this to your January TBR. <laughs> <clears throat> the next book is a chunky book. It is a historical fiction that contains drama and romance. Um, it is Ross Poldark by Winston Graham. It's also an HBO, or sorry, not HBO, BBC TV series. Sorry about that. Um, and it is a thicker book, typically, I find thick books very daunting, um, so I have been staying away from them. But lately, I've also been like drawn to them. Like I really want to sit down and take the time to dedicate myself to a thicker novel. So I feel like this is a good segue into that. And I am also going to be reading this with three other bookstagrammers on bookstagram <laughs> on Instagram. Um, so I feel like it's going to be even more exciting just to be able to discuss this book with people along the way. And yeah. Also, this book is a part of a very long series. The book series is over seven plus books. So this is literally going to be a lifelong commitment if I fall in love with this plot. <clears throat> the last but definitely not least of my hopefuls is Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. 
Oh my goodness, this was also a book that had so much hype around it. And this book is kind of the same situation as The Cruel Prince. I didn't want to buy it. I didn't want to read it until the hype had really simmered down. But all I've seen is good things about it. So I really do want to take a stab at this journey myself. This is a YA fantasy that follows main character Etta. Her life changes drastically and she ends up in a familiar place. To me, just from reading the synopsis, it sounds like time travel. And she ends up on the other MC, Nicholas Carter's ship, and together they have to find a stolen relic. So it seems like there's going to be a lot of action, time travel. I'm hoping for like a friendship, romance, chemistry going on there. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. Um, if I do like it, I do have the second book, Wayfair. So hopefully I can get to that one too. Um, so long videos scare me. I don't like filming long videos. So if you could tell that I was nervous in this video, that is why. I just find them so daunting, kind of like big books. But if you stuck around and you watched it, thank you incredibly, so incredibly much. Um, so I think my next video will basically be surrounding my January reading goals. So stay tuned for that.